Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm so grateful you've chosen to join us today. Whether you're just starting your morning, taking a break in the midst of busy day, or winding down in the evening, this is a moment for us to be together in God's presence. It's Wednesday, June 12th, and we're reflecting on the third Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment to become more aware of God's presence. Take a deep breath and invite the Holy Spirit to fill the space around you and within you. Come, Holy Spirit. Let's pray. All powerful God, in Jesus Christ, you turned death into life and defeat into victory. Increase our faith and trust in him that we may triumph over all evil in the strength of the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11. Let's listen with open hearts. Now Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the man who had been mute began to speak, and the crowds were amazed. But some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons, he casts out demons. Others, to test him, began asking for a sign from heaven. But Jesus, realizing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is destroyed, and a divided household falls. So if Satan, too, is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? I ask you this because you claim that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. Now, if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has already overtaken you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his possessions are safe. But when a stronger man attacks and conquers him, he takes away the first man's armor on which the man relied and divides up his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of a person, it passes through waterless places looking for rest, but not finding any. Then it says, I will return to the home I left. When it returns, it finds the house swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they go in and live there so that the last state of that person is worse than the first. As he said these things, a woman in the crowd spoke out to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breasts at which you nursed. But he replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. He cast out demons with just a word. A man set free, his voice heard. Crowds they gather. Hearts they stir, saw his power, felt the cure, light within, lets it shine, darkness fades, love divine, people doubting, words they fear. Signs of heaven right here near. Blessed are those who hear and see. Keep the word, set spirits free.
shouting words they fear signs of heaven right here near blessed are those who hear and see keep the word set spirits free a house divided cannot stand truth is clear hand in hand Now that we've been fed by God's Word, let's turn our hearts to God in prayer. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Through Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on a high. God of grace, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. God of grace, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils yet unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We appreciate the chance to pray with you today. If this podcast has blessed you, please share it with others who may need a moment of prayer and encouragement. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what challenges you face today, God's love surrounds you. Stay well, spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow.